Hello, welcome to Short Circuits and this is a sensor data logger using RPyPico. And the main goal of this project is to convert the sensor data into a graph. And how I'm going to do it is by recording this sensor data by taking samples and then converting that samples into a JSON file and sending request to QuickChart API to get a graph. So it requires MicroPython and also Python, Python 3.10. So let's see how this project works. When I will press the switch, it will record for 10 seconds. The power is provided through this USB cable. Now let's press the switch. And now I will vary the light intensity. So the recording is done and our JSON file is also created. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. If you want to know more about this project, the link is given in the description. You are free to read the blog. So right now the recording is done. Our JSON file is stored in the flash memory of RPyPico. Now let's connect this to computer and convert it into a graph. The Pico board is connected to the COM port and now I have to copy the .json file from the flash memory of Pico and paste it in the folder where I have written the Python program. So I have written the Python program in PyCharm. PyCharm is an IDE for Python. You have to use two separate IDE, Thorny for PyPico and PyCharm for Python. Because the only way to access the flash memory of PyPico is through Thorny IDE. So this program is responsible for sending requests to QuickChart URL and our response. If the request is successful, then we'll get a URL in the response, which is the URL of our graph. So now let's open Thorny IDE. And if we get this prompt in shell with three purple arrows, that means our board is connected. And now we can access the internal flash memory through clicking on file, then open. And we have to choose RFIPCO. Here you can see adcdata.json and its size is 2113 bytes. And that's okay. So now we have to save this JSON file copy. To our folder, which is data logger by Pico and I will save in this folder. It says this file is already able to replace it. I will hit on yes. And now I will run this Python code. And our request is successful. We have got one URL. Now we click on this URL. A Google page will open. And this is our LDR data, the sensor data. So the light intensity was high. Then I covered my hand over LDR and it dropped. Then I removed the hand, it again rise. And then again I covered my hand. So I covered my hand two times over the LDR. That's why it's like this, like a square wave. So I have used here 200 samples. You can use maximum 241 samples for a single graph. You can also download this as PNG. You can click on save image as and you can put it in your research paper or anywhere you want. It's really very good for researchers, physics professors or anybody who want to get the sensor data on a graph. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.